Hello everybody and welcome back to Fields of Mystria. Where today we have some posts, so let's have a little look at that. It's one of the last days. So, Copper Star rank. Sheila, congratulations. Mystria has reached the Copper Star Town rank. This means we've officially earned back our pre-earthquake rank. I believe I speak for the whole town when I say thank you, Sheila. Island and I baked you a little something to celebrate. So let's have tea. Sheila can't thank you enough for your work on the mill. If you've got time, come over to my place. I'll put the kettle on and we can talk ranching. Amazing animals. Hayden. Lovely. Tea with Hayden is our next quest. Okay, so what I'm going to do... A little bit of... Um, a little bit of sorting stuff out around the place. I want to... Get rid of some of these rocks on my farm that are in my way, and then we'll maybe move on to a bit of wood. I'll see. I'll see what I want to move on to, but, uh... Okay. Just feel like if I do a little bit of this every day, it might be... Ooh, what are you? Come here. Oh, well, that, I'm glad I did clear my farm because that is a roly poly and that's one of the, uh, that's the second to last, sadly, insect that I need. I do need some kind of butterfly as well that I've just not been finding anywhere. I mean, everywhere I've been walking, I've been keeping my eyes peeled for butterflies, just not found them. And that's fine. I very much expect I'll find all of the insects and things from the mines before I find uh, the sort of spring ones and summer ones and things. They just seem a little bit harder to get. Uh, however, I did spend like half of spring with no bug net, so like I feel like that's probably part of it. So I've used quite a lot of my stamina now. But it's got to be done at some point, hasn't it? So if we... So I, I've, I've cleared in quite a specific area here. And I think that's going to mean that we can... expand things if we need to. So if I want to do lots and lots and lots of planting come summer, and if I want to do that, I want to at least have an iron uh, watering can, which should be easily attainable, because I'm in the level of the mines where I can get iron now. So I feel like maybe doing some blacksmithing, getting some better tools would be a really good idea. And then working on maybe animals. Let's have a chat with uh, Kaldaris as well. You feel compelled to talk to Kaldaris' statue. I see the mill in town has been restored to a functioning state. Well done. This is sure to improve the lives of the townspeople. Let's just get all the rubbish around Kaldaris' statue gone as well. Because I'm going to want to plant trees and things here, see? Not these trees. I probably will plant them in a similar position, maybe down by the water's edge there. That might be quite nice and have sort of... I had this idea of a sort of, um, of a sort of, like, line going up to Caldarus there, you know? I can't, I can't help myself. Once I start clearing, I just can't stop. It's like a Pringles thing, isn't it? So I've cleared now an entire little square of my farm. So I'm going to just like get that one rock. And then I think we need to go up to the board in the museum. So I'll take any quests off the board. And basically we're just collecting them. And as we can or do get them done, then fine. And if we can't, we can't. Oh, the market's going on today as well. So let's head up to the board and then we'll go and chat to the markety people because they are the ones I'm going to struggle to get to know the most because they only come up on a Saturday. Request for a rock. I think I can do that one, I'll work. And I'll get a mines crate chair in return. Which isn't the greatest. However, oh, I get my stamina buff. That's a stamina increase, isn't it, that one? Uh, but... The thing about this, 
Well, actually, yeah, because I have I've used all my stamina on the farm today, so actually having that back might be really good. Let's eat it. So we have back a full 140 stamina now. Wonderful! Didn't even think about that, but that's so cool. Let's head up to the market and have a chat with a few people. Um, and then I'm going to go see Hayden. Hey Celine, Darcy's one of my biggest customers. She buys up a lot of my herbs and flowers for her teas. Hey Luke. Last time Del got her coffee, she got so hyper, she kept calling all my insects tiny dragons. And then she said she was turning into a dragon. Wow, she lab, just wow. Yeah, I think she maybe shouldn't have coffee again. One day I'll be allowed to have Darcy's coffee again, and on that day I'll be a true warrior. <laughs> but that day is not today. The Western ruins are of particular interest to me because they yield a steady supply of ancient artifacts from the era of the Witch Queens. I need to go there more. I really do. Juniper, with your beautiful purple hair. Why wasn't I allowed that colour of hair? Well, my hair's nearly that colour. Sheila, look, Darcy drew Dozy in the form of my latte. So cute. It's too cute to drink. Oh, I like in the foam on the top. That's adorable. I've been experimenting with some new drinks since last time I was at the Saturday market. Take a look at the new menu. I wonder if anyone likes my cherries. I'm going to try giving Darcy a cherry. Oh, this looks nice. I'm going to make it into something tasty. Oh yeah, nice. I wonder who else might like a cherry. Try Celine. Celine likes flowers, so she might like a cherry. Oh, Hayden might like a cherry. Let's try. Settling it all right? It can be a bit much farm work. Just take it one day at a time. Well, thanks. Uh, maybe Del would like one as well. Thanks. Okay, so how are we doing like so far for people liking us? Oh, Celine's quite far up there, so maybe even just giving any kind of present is good. And Darcy is far, far ahead. Or oh, let's see how she compares to Louis. Oh yeah, yeah. Any present seems to be just great. And Vera. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm always getting new hairstyles in. If you don't see something this week, be sure to stop by next time. I just want to make sure I'm talking to people. Maple's been going on about dyeing her hair pink. Kids ought to express themselves, but I don't know. I like my hair short, so I come to sit to Vera as often as I can. Right. Raina says she's thinking of dyeing her hair. It might be a fun mother-daughter activity. <laughs> Everyone's dyeing their hair, are they? I suppose dyeing one's hair must be a fun change of pace. Hmm. You might have to go for the beard, Errol. If you need a haircut or directions, Vera's got you covered. She knows all the shortcuts, long cuts too. If you prefer the scenic route, she knows all the shortcuts. Hilarious. <laughs> if you can wear it, Louis can make it. Guy's amazing. Oh yeah, we can turn in the rock. Whoa, she lad, this stone is really cool. Not everyone has an eye for it, you know? Here, I found this cool chair in the mines one time. I'd like you to have it in return. <laughs> I'm doing this purely, purely for the EXP. I'll have you know. Louis is always measuring my biceps and letting out my sleeves. I guess he learned his lesson after the first time I burst out a jacket. <laughs> Lots of things to wear. Again, I'm not that bothered. It's all cosmetics. Spring cleaning should start with your wardrobe. Out with the old and in with the new. Oh, I couldn't talk to them last time because they were, they're like shop dummies, aren't they? <laughs> I just realised that. I've been able to hold on to my clothes from my soldiering days because Louis had a real knack for mending. Louis says I'm a trendsetter. That's nice of him to say, but I just put on whatever makes me feel cute. As a man who enjoys the finer things, a visit to Louis' booth is always a treat. See, I'm kind of thinking like, so looking through the the bachelors, so we've got Balor, who is a bachelor. We've got Island, who is a bachelor. Tempting. Hayden is also a bachelor, maybe. Um, and then Reese. 
Oh, March. And Reese. I think that's it. Yeah, so we've got Balor. Balor Island. Hayden. March and Reese. So one, two, three, four, five of them to choose from. I quite like Reese. Reese seems quite quite nice. I quite like um Hayden seems a bit crazy, but I don't know. We'll we'll maybe see if like he develops. He's the only one that doesn't look like 12 as well. <laughs> Actually Balor looks a bit older too, so I don't know. Balor and Island are probably alright. And then probably Reese. Probably not March. I don't like these characters that they purposely put in to be a struggle to get to know and like. Alright, I'm gonna, seeing as I'm up here anyway, I will fish the pond and see if we can get that last fish. I, it's unlikely, but it's worth a try. Probably swimming around to the other side right now, so let's just go over there preemptively. That was good. <laughs> it was fiber. Oh, wow. Uh, I have got one more day. I can give that a try. Are you thinking about pond skaters then? No, I'm not going to try and give you a pond skater. So my next stop then, now I've had a chat to everyone. Oh, I haven't had a chat to March actually. Reese was saying my room's too plain, though. She gets some furniture from Mary. It's like he doesn't get what honour is. Sorry, what an honour it is to even see my room. Just trying to help, man. <laughs> it's like I always tell Mary, you have to be careful picking your varnish. A good varnish completely changes the feel of the wood. And Ireland loves to comb Mary's store for mysterious antiques. Sometimes they're much older than anyone thinks. So this is what I'm going to try and do. Every Friday and Saturday, I'm going to try and do a bit of socialising. And then... Maybe a bit through the week as I as I can. Um, uh, let's head out to the museum and maybe I'll I'll hit the dig site a little bit. Then I'll probably head home. I, I should really hit the dig site before I come to the museum though. I unlocked a new reward. Oh, the dig site! We finished the dig site. And we are one insect short on the spring insects. So we did, we've done four out of five on so much of this. If you have a look at the wings here. Um, so on the fish, we're one short on the pond set. We're one short on the ocean set. We finished the river set. And like I say, considering we didn't have the bug net and the fishing rod to start off within the season, we only had really half a season to collect them. I don't think that's a bad go. We're now one short on the spring insect set as well. <laughs> so next spring we'll have a lot to do, unless I can find them tomorrow, which I, I very much doubt. Um, so we've got the dig site material set is all done. So we need things like prehistoric artifacts, ancient artifacts, all that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to probably start like really pumping into, pumping my points into the artifacts. So I'll go to the dig site just now on the way home. No, I won't. I'm going to go back to Caldaras' statue and put things away. That's what I'm going to do. So we've got a chest to open. But you can also find chests any other way. Like, there's other ways to find chests. Really, a game of potato seeds like on the last day of spring? Are you kidding me? Alright, back home we go. And then I'll head out to the to the dig site once I've got some archaeology upgrades. I don't know if we took all of the archaeology upgrades. I think we might have done. Right, let's have a look. Uh, archaeology. So we don't have unpeatable, so peat, soil and clay. Well, that's fine. And museum quality. Oh, uncommon artifacts being more likely. That was a huge one that we needed. And then we've got tier 2 and tier 3. So once we get to level 15 in archaeology, we'll be able to take some more um, things. So that's wonderful. So we'll we're going. Uh, we could go past Hayden's on the way, couldn't we? Oh, I've got a, a uh, cosmetic to unlock. I always just want to unlock those because I don't want them hanging around. And we got some stuff to put back. Um, okay, the wood. 
Let's have a drink quickly. <clears throat> I've learned my lesson that if I'm going to have tea, which will sometimes, sometimes does and sometimes do doesn't like gum up my throat. If I'm going to have tea, always have like an, or an orange drink or something like that around as well. It's a bit of a nightmare otherwise. Okay, so we've done quite well with that. There's some acorns there if I want to plant any trees at the moment. I have in plenty enough. Uh, and I've got a mine chair and I've got my watering can doesn't need to be on me right now. Hardwood, mine chair, fiber, watering can. Wonderful. Okay. So next let's go and see Hayden. That's still a mess over here, isn't it? So like, I don't want to spend all of my time digging up stuff though. The Praying Mantis. I don't think you go in the museum though. I saw something flying there. Oh, it was a bird, okay. I don't think I'm catching birds in my net somehow. So let's see if Hayden's in. We can have a chat about how to uh, deal with animals. Thanks for stopping by, come in, put up your feet. So you're looking to raise some animals. I've got quite the selection to choose from, Sheila. If you feed them, pet them, and call them outside on nice days, they'll reward you with all sorts of wonderful produce. Feed them, pet them, call them outside on nice days. I think I, could, I think I can do that. I might forget some days, but like, you know, most of the time. Fresh eggs and milk are real useful if you like cooking. You can also sell them for a nice profit. Some animals even provide useful crafting materials, such as feathers and wool. Mistria also holds an annual animal festival with great prizes. Okay, although you might find the competition a little stiff against my Henrietta. <laughs> Henrietta's cool, I wouldn't mind losing to you Henrietta, don't worry. Henrietta actually sits on a chair up at the table. If you go on to breed your animals with heart-shaped treats, you can even pair them to produce rare colours. Oh, I know people love it when that happens. Here's some milled feed to get you started, but don't forget you can also let them graze or even hand feed them as a treat. Would you like to view the ranch in tutorial? Yes. Right, so baby animals can be purchased from Hayden's farm once you've built a barn or coop for them to live in. So we need to go and talk to Reese about that in a minute. Adult animals will drop produce and can even be bred to unlock new colours at two hearts. Make sure to feed and pet your animals once every day to keep them happy. Animals can be fed various ways. In dog troughs, grazing outside, and hand feeding are all options. Animals like to be called outside on sunny days, but avoid bringing them out in bad weather. Well, I think that's about everything for now. Don't be a stranger, she lab. I can tell Henrietta appreciates your company, and so do I. I want to pet Henrietta. Whenever I see her or Daisy, I want to pet them. So I've got hay, grass seed, and tea with lemon. A hot cup of black tea with a squeeze of lemon juice and a pinch of sugar. But I wanted to pet Henrietta. Is she in? Yeah, hi. Henrietta wags her tail feathers energetically. Yeah, she's very happy. Right, okay. Next on the job list is to go to... There's something there. Is that, there's that another rhino? I think it might be another rhino beetle. Yeah. It might be, I don't very often go to certain areas, so like I don't very often go like across here, so it might be that the butterfly I need hangs out around here. Or it might be that it lives in the deep woods that I've not unlocked yet. So if that was the case, then it's like, well, I'm never going to find it, am I? So that's why, again, don't don't worry too much about it. Um, <clears throat> sell that. Enough room. Yeah, I've got enough room to take anything from the dig site that I need. But I was going to go and try and get some iron in the mines today, but I don't think I'm going to be uh, quite doing that somehow. To the ruins.
There's pond fish potentially in there. None at the moment, but maybe in the daytime there might be. Let's have a think about that. Another shard mass and something unidentified. Let's have a look at that. It might be an unusual thing. An ancient stone lantern, an uncommon artifact. An impossibly delicate stone lantern from the age of the witch queens. It still retains an ethereal glow from within. Very nice. Drop that in the museum on the way past. Kind of handy that the museum is right there. And we definitely, definitely, definitely don't have time to go in the mines today. <laughs> uh. So that's the second part of the ancient artifact set, which is quite nice. Wonderful. I feel like we're doing really well, though. Like, we're only just in spring. And we're already 12% through that, 17% through that, 21% through that, and 24% through that. And spring of the first year as well. I'm sure there's going to be more than one year. Although, like I say, maybe not, or maybe not more than two, because I think it's, it's definitely seems to be set. For me to not need to do tons and tons and tons. But uh, we'll, we shall see how long it goes. But it just seems nicely paced, honestly. I don't... I don't feel like, oh, this is so grindy. I feel like every day, oh, I'm doing this. And, oh, I'm doing this. And, oh, now I get to talk about animals. Oh, I forgot to even go and do half the stuff. Because I was busy doing other stuff. But I'm always busy. And I'm never busy doing the same things. Except when I choose to spend a whole day fishing or something. But then when I do spend a whole day fishing, I get really good progress on, on the museum, so I don't even mind it. Okay. We've got some... Almost a whole level again. And I didn't even... Did I even check the board? I don't think I did. I think I took the... Or maybe I did. No, I think I did, actually. Right, no point in watering that because it's the last day. We could chat to Kaldaris quickly. We feel compelled to talk to Kaldaris' statue. If you find yourself getting low on energy, don't forget to cook something and consume it. That's how it typically works with humans, correct? <laughs> nice, so I've got some lemons. Uh, I've got quite a few things that I can sell right now. So that's quite nice. Let's do a bit of selling so I can have some money. I've kept some lemons, so I'm just going to sell these ones. Um, that tea with lemon can be kept or it could be sold for 320. It's so tempting to sell things when they are worth that much. But also I'm kind of thinking, well, if I ever, if I have a little stash of stuff and I ever need it, it might be useful. I'm keeping some things that I probably shouldn't be keeping. Probably shouldn't really be keeping like a wild leak. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, let's put, put those away. I'm wondering if there's anything I can take outside. Let's take the wooden fences outside and put the cup of tea inside. There we are. Might need a new chest soon though. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can make wooden chests, so we can maybe find a little space for that. All right, then. Let's go and do a final little fish in the pond, maybe. We'll go and ca collect our quests up. We'll do a final little fish in the pond before we... I never go to Balor's place, do I? Take a quest from here. Blueberries. Oh. I think the blueberries are to the east. I don't know if I'll be able to get them after today. 
I'll have to try. I'm almost certain there was some kind of by the bridge. See, so around here is apparently like dig sites and stuff, but I'm not seeing any dig sites. I'm gonna get like tulips because I know that Adeline likes them and I can just keep them for her. I don't know if that counts as pond or river. That might count as pond. It's very hard to tell actually. There, there's my blueberries. I knew they were here. I knew I'd seen them. Okay, I'll take those back to Raina then. And that'll be another quest done. Like I say, the more quests I do, the quicker I'm going to get these town ranks. And that just seems to be important. That and mine levels. And I haven't been in the mines this time yet. I really need to, to get my better gear with the mines. I want to gear up my axe and pickaxe and sword. I did already gear up my axe. I used money for that, but I can't use money for everything. I could use money for one more thing, but that would be about it. So Raina's probably going to be down in the tavern. I will double check that. There's people up by the fountain, actually. Let's check it's not Raina. It might be... Uh, yeah, it was. There's your blueberries. Oh, are these blueberries I've requested? Thank you. These will make some great blueberry jam. Here's my recipe. Oh, yeah. Yesterday was... Um... There we are. Blueberry jam. Learned recipe. I haven't even tried the mill yet. I'm going to go and have a look at what that what that entails because I haven't had a look at the recipes in the mill. Let's go and have a look. So we can make animal feed. We can make all these kind of cheeses and things like that. Cheese, mayonnaise, all of that are made in here. Milled ingredients, flour, rice and sugar. And we can also make a grass starter and paper out of fiber. Very nice. Okay, good to know. It's good to know what, what you can make in there, because then if someone's like, oh, I want paper, I'll be running around like, whoa, where do I make paper? And it'll be in the mill, and I won't have realised. Okay, so what other quests do we have outstanding at the moment? Um, copper for March. I can hand that straight in. But everything else, no. So let's go back to the farm and get some copper for March then. And just because the ones that we can do, we should do. And then if I happen to be fishing around and get a catfish, then great. Mm, let's have a quick look at what where we get catfish. And I don't know about salmon. Still don't know about salmon, but I think I do know catfish. I think catfish is something I've already caught, so... Yeah. It's found in all seasons. It's a medium pond fish. Oh, okay, so that's not too bad. Um, maybe salmon is also found in all seasons and then that will be all right. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. What a new hat there. I hate it when there's like exclamation marks over things. I'm like, I need to sort this out right away. Let me just get rid of these around here because I don't want things like encroaching onto my farmland. It's strange like that, I know. And I'm eventually going to need somewhere to put a barn, and I don't know where. I mean, I've kind of earmarked, like, right over here for an orchard. And here is my sort of farming. So I'm kind of thinking that any kind of barn I'm going to put down probably needs to go here. So I should probably clear this, like, back corner out if I want to make a barn. But maybe we should just go and see Reese and find out what the barn's all about. I'll grab the copper and we'll go and give that to uh, March. 
So we've got loads of stuff. I'm going to sell those. Uh, I'm keeping fibre at the moment. I don't know why, but we if we need paper later, then that might be why. Or if I need it for crafting ingredients or something. There we are. That's all put away. Did I keep the copper out here? I'm sure I kept the copper out here. Yes. Okay, so we've got 47. So that would actually be enough to make myself like a copper watering can or something. But part of me just wants to go straight onto iron stuff, honestly. And then just maybe sell the copper bars or just keep them in case I need them for a quest or something. But I should probably process them. But yeah, I, th I think I'll give those to March and then I will just, yeah, try and work on getting some iron together so I can make myself iron armor, an iron sword, all that sort of thing. A copper sword should be fine in the iron level because I can't expect you, especially on the early levels, to have already geared up to the complete iron stuff. But that's kind of what I want to do with a lot of the rest of the episode, I think. Right, is March in? No. Where are you, March? Oh, maybe I could go and do a quick pond fish. It'd be lovely to get, like, one other thing done. There's Reese. Um... Oh, well, that's annoying. That was my last chance to get a pond fish. Oh, well, okay. That is fine. I'll just keep on keeping on with that. That's just something I'll do like every day as I run by doing other things. Okay, so March, I want a, a dude with a hand. Oh, right, dude with a headband in the bathhouse. Some of these characters are easier to see than others. Oh, okay. Well, it said you were in the bathhouse. Where are you? Wow, I want a bedroom like that so bad. <laughs> You in the actual bath? Oh, hi. There's your copper. Ah, the copper ore I requested. I didn't think you'd manage it. Thanks, here's your payment. 75, okay. Did I, did I take a new quest today? I really need to make sure I take these new quests. Because like I say, the quests are probably more important to take then, oh yeah, I did. They're probably more important to take than even finishing things in the museum is. It'll be satisfying to finish collections in the museum. It's nice to get the uh, collectibles and the cosmetics and things as well. But yeah, I'm not gonna spend the whole day trying to finish off museum collections. I'm gonna leave that now until next year uh, because it's basically a case of I can't be two places at once. There's a lot of other things I want to do to progress the story. So, and a lot of them involve being in these mines. So <laughs> let's pop down to level 20 and have a dig around for some nice new... Nice new pieces of iron, shall we? I'm trying to work out which ones have the iron ore in. Ah, the way down, how wonderful. But I'm wondering whether I should just jump in here and jump up here and ow! Don't deal with these guys. Maybe not then. They are quite damaging, aren't they, when you get in their way? Oh, I thought I'd got you then. And they're so tanky, that's half my health gone, are you kidding me? You're so annoying. It's like they turn around on purpose when you hit them. Well, that was a good start, wasn't it? Ow! 
Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get knocked out. So annoying. Like I feel like that's just not fair. Every time I hit them, they turn around. I need to work out their patterns. However, we do now get the the scene where I get knocked out and put in the hospital. So uh, you know we wouldn't get to see that. Otherwise, there is a trapdoor in your house, in your medical center. Do you know what that's all about? Ah, you're awake. You gave us quite a scare. Please take your health more seriously, Sheila. You're lucky we found you by that dragon statue in the mines. Well, I'm glad you seem to be doing better. Let's uh, let you get home to rest. Oh, dear. So that ended my day entirely. So now we're on the first of summer and I didn't barely get any iron. I'm so annoyed. I should have just gone down to the next level. Ah, level 21. Nice. We're going through these copper ranks really fast. That's amazing. So we're now on the first of summer, which is not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted because now I've got to spend and I've lost time as well. And I've got less stamina and less health. And I only got three pieces of iron. Wonderful. Okay, so the next project we want to do is, now that Mystery has its basic necessities met, I'd like to pivot our focus to the real morale booster for the town. Would you meet Island and me in front of the manor house? Sure, a candied lemon peel recipe. Balor dropped off your lemon shipment this morning. It made me think you might like this recipe for candied lemon peel. Enjoy, Nora. So eventually, I'm gonna have all the stuff I want that I need to, to combine with this. Right, so there's going to be a whole load. I think I should do a whole load of fishing and bug catching and just everything today as well. So maybe we'll leave the mines for a day or two. So I'm going to just put those away. And work on things around the uh, around the farm instead for a bit. So I'm just going to get rid of the rocks and wood off of my little patch here. And then we're going to head to the general store, which is why I kept money. And we're going to get a bunch of nice seeds of just every type. And collect whatever. Because that's what you've got to do on the first day of every season, right? So there's some money there for me as well. Wonderful. And someone wants a monster shell. I've been keeping those and in return I get iron ingots. Oh, that is good. I like that because I've been looking for iron and I got it from a quest reward. The other thing I could do is buy a couple of iron ingots rather than buying the whole thing. That would maybe work. So what trees do we have? Pear and peach. I would like one of each of those. Cucumbers. That could be harvested once. Chilies can be harvested once. Watermelons can be harvested once. Tomatoes can be harvested every three days. And we've got Daisy, Cat Mint, and Cosmos. Oh, and Corn, right. So what I feel like I want to do is maybe have... They're 300 each, aren't they? Three of each of these. And I'll maybe just make them their own little tiny thing going on. And then maybe three each of these. And these. And then three each of these. just made it so that is going to be all of my uh, all of my summer planting I may need to expand the bed for it but I do have all of the the stuff for that we just had enough money but that means that everything the crop bundle is basically completely sorted now which is great. So I'm gonna start off, I'll get rid of that little sapling there. We don't want that one. I only want my specific ones that I'm planting to be there. And like I say, I've got my, my little plan to have one of every tree, <laughs> just in a little sort of tribute to Caldaris there. Oh, I've got the 
trees are really trying to come back, aren't they? Which I don't want them to do over here, particularly. Okay, so then I want to go and get my hoe, which I have yet to upgrade. I will do at some point. For now, it's okay. I'm not I'm not too bothered by it. Uh, did I leave that outside then? Maybe it's in the other chest? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So I think I'm going to want to hoe all of this. So it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I feel like this is a silly size. But that's okay. What I could do, if I've got three of everything, is oh, yeah, you can unho, can't you? So let's unho that. And just hoe in like um, two big sets of three. Yeah. So that'll do for now. I don't really need it to be too big. Um, these birds flying around, are they going to eat my crops? So the tomatoes and the corn come back over time. So I'm going to put these up here. Cucumber, chili, watermelon. And then I'll probably put the flowers over here. Not a bad little little go, is it? Okay, and I do have to unfortunately at the moment water them individually. If I upgrade my watering can, I could use the rain spell, but I don't want to. <laughs> if I use the uh if I upgrade the watering can to iron, I can do several at once. So it might be the time to do that pretty soon. I'm kind of skipping over copper, I've decided. <laughs> Why do copper when I've got iron available? I didn't do a ton of like planting in my first season because I didn't have enough money. I mean, that wiped me out just to plant all of this. And like one of each of these is going to get um, sent to the museum as well. So, wow. Okay, so let's put everything away. fiber and then go and plant my trees I've got a pear tree maybe about there and a peach tree which will go there I think that's going to look lovely it's going to be a lovely little sort of tribute so we'll have there's two trees per season I think so we'll probably end up with like either six or eight depending on whether we get winter ones I think that'll be really nice. Right then, let's do a bit of like tidying up. Not too much tidying up though, because it's already half past six somehow. Planting takes ages. <laughs> ah, so we've got new foragers. So I need to start like. I have planted some of them though. So some of the flowers have been planted. So we'll have to see what we find. Go for a little run around. Go for a little fish. Do a little fish in the pond maybe on the way up to see these guys or on the way out. Next project please. Shelab, you're here. Now we can get the party started. I wouldn't call it a party but it's needful work. Well. Maybe it's both. 
With Misria back on its feet, I thought it was high time to take care of some of the debris and other damage the earthquake left behind. I'm sure the whole town would appreciate it being dealt with. Let's get beautifying. Thanks, she love. It would go faster with more help, but... Island, we talked about this. Everyone's so busy already. We need to shoulder the extra burden. The sooner we start, the sooner we're done. Let's go. Oh, all the cracks in the road and stuff. I've needed to watch my step around here, especially at night. With the foot traffic the square gets, we're lucky no one twisted an ankle or worse. Hey, you three. Celine got a spring outfit. Doing some repairs? Looks fun. Why don't you two join us? Why not? Definitely better to take care of these cracks now. Knowing my sister, Del will probably try to dig these even deeper. <laughs> oh, Del, Celine's sister. I didn't know that. I know that now. Or maybe I did know that. Maybe I was told that early on. I'm not sure. I'm making such good progress. Thanks for helping out, you two. Hardly feels like work when we all get to chat. This is going to leave us with a lot of leftover stone. I think we have a use for it. Why don't we fix the steps up to the summit? Woo, those would make a perfect repair materials. And there's less hauling for us to do as well. My word, was tidying the museum campus on the docket for today? I think these youngsters are trying to get one up on us, Errol. Let's show them what we can do. <laughs> Everyone did want to join in. Whoa, have you got a gold pickaxe, Errol? Apologies, I can see my exuberance has gotten the better of me. You old show-off. <gasps> what? He's got a gold pickaxe. Where did he get that from? Isn't it wonderful to restore old stonework? Untold generations of Mystrians have made use of these steps. More importantly, we'll finally have access to that lemon tree up on the hill again. What? I just planted a lemon tree. And the summit. The view up there can't be beat. So that's what all the noise was. Reese! March? Let's go. Yay! Phew! I say that's a job well done. Shall we head up to the summit? I confess, I've missed the view. Yeah. Cool. Get to go up there now. Extra place to look for insects and... Or well, potentially, anyway. Lemons, I guess. I can't believe it. My whole list checked off so quickly. Next time, just put out a request, Adeline. Miss Selene is correct. Where mystery is concerned, I believe there's no one in town who wouldn't pitch in. Everyone, thank you. <laughs> so happy. You completed the beautification. Beautification? What's with me today? I don't know. The beautification project quest. I was trying to combine quest and beautification together. Oh wow, so now we're up these stairs. We can go all around here. Oh, there's a bee over there, look. Come here, bee. I've been collecting bees. The reason I have been collecting bees is I have a feeling there might be hives and honey later on in the game. And if there will be, then I want to keep the bees. I'll be annoyed if there's suddenly, like, an ant colony, though. <laughs> it's like, yes, we're keeping ants now. Uh, I'll be like, oh, darn it, I didn't do those. There's another daisy. Clear water fills the fountain. Drink some? Yeah. Oh, nice. I got a little bit of a stamina regen from the... Wow, that's nice. Okay, I'm going to go and uh, check out 
the dig site quickly and I'll see if there's any cool... There's usually like a cool flower like up here. So that might be a different one today. Yes, it is. A marigold. And then I want to have a quick run around the, the ruins. Oh, that looks new. Cat mint. Uh, they're just common ones today. That's fine. Can't expect unusual ones every day. So I've got three of the flowers already. I'll have to have a look at what the summer... I'm just going to have a look in the museum and see what all the summer things are. The summer insects, the summer everything. Right, let's have a look. So I'll donate my three flowers that I've already got. Which is three of five. So there's some kind of lily to get and there's some kind of like red daisy thing to get. Let's have a look at the wings. So I want to have a look at the uh, what the forage set is. So a leafy thing, a leafy thing, a leafy thing, a leafy thing and a leafy thing. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, so it's chili, corn, cucumber, tomato and melon, which I all have planted. So that's coming along. Um, obviously, oh, someone wanted a moral mushroom and that is part of the spring forage set. So I might not, might not be able to find that for them now. It's fine though. Well, let's have a look at the quests. For me, for Valen. So if I find one, like, maybe in the mines or something, then I'll find... If I find one, I'll find one. If I don't, I don't. Monster shell I can absolutely do. Miner's pickaxe is something that I think would come from the dig site or from... And it also needs to be put into the museum. Um, catfish can be found at any point. Uh, I forgot what kind of fish it was, but it's in it's in there somewhere. And, and a salmon. So if, if they come up when I'm fishing, they come up when I'm fishing. Great. Um, so let's have a look at the fish. So again, five of each from the river, pond and ocean. I'll try and get what I can. And there'll be winter. Then there'll be ones to get in the mines, in the three mines. And then there's legendary, which I don't know where I'm going to find any of those. So that's fine. Uh, archaeology, we're slowly working our way through, we're getting various different things as we go down in the mines and uh, from the dig site. There might be more dig sites to find, I haven't found them yet though. So insect wise, there are five different insects that I can find throughout the summer. Uh, I managed to find four of the spring ones <laughs> out of five and I'm hoping I'll be able to maybe find all five. We'll see. Okay. Right, so I'm going to run around, I think, uh, maybe might be tomorrow by the time I get to do it, though. Uh, and I do still need to see Reese about stuff. Um, that looks to me like just a normal grasshopper. Oh, but this one's a straw hopper. Ah, so the grasshoppers now, they might be a bit seasonal. I've got, there's different ones to catch now. How interesting. So that's the third. There might be an autumn and a winter one, maybe. There were two in the spring. There might be two in the summer, even. You never know. Grasshoppers are notoriously more likely to be about in the spring and summer. I imagine those are still water chestnuts. Yeah. So they're just something I can have all the time. And I can fry those up for like a bit of a nicer meal, which is quite cool. Uh, I should head home now, though. Or maybe not, because I just found another flower, an iris. And seeing as I'm like two seconds away from the museum, I may as well put that in. Actually, maybe it's further than I thought. But this will happen every every season. It'll be easy to get certain things and not easy to get others. So we've got one more flower left and we finished the collection already, like on the first day. 
which is pretty amazing. And yet we found no insects. I don't need to, to get pond skaters. I know what they are now and they only give me 15. And so unless I've got some major quest for one, I'm not going to catch them. Right, we better get home. <laughs> it's really late. But I think that was a really good first day of spring. We managed to plant everything we needed for our collections. We found out, we did our beautification project and uh, we almost finished the entire flower collection for the museum. That's not a bad day's work, is it? I think we'll go to sleep. So I got 20 for completing a quest and 25 for all my... See, the museum donations are great early on in a season when there's like a lot to get. So I expect that will be quite good for now. So we, we want to get to iron rank. So I think at 30 will be iron rank. So we'll be working on that throughout the summer. Right, good morning world. So I've got rather a lot of watering to do. I really want to get back into the mines and try and... I need to be a little bit more careful though. I think the fact I've got no armour is probably not helping me, but I, I think I could do it as long as I'm careful. Which I've clearly not been up till now. Alright, so that fibre can go away. I don't... I was keeping peat, but I think I was keeping it inside, but we'll put it there for now. Same with bees, actually. So, no, actually, let's just put things where they should go. I think I might be keeping water chestnuts as well. Daisies, I imagine I'm just selling. Flowers, just selling those. Sod, used as a crafting material, so it should maybe be kept in case. At least a few of them, anyway. Okay, so it looks like I can put some things away here. Right. But the sod would need to go outside. Now we've actually got some room. Yeah, I feel like that must be like whether it's global inventory or not when we start having maybe maybe old machines to do and things later. Okay, so we've just got our tools now. Perfect. That's much 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 better. And once I've watered, I'll put away the hoe and the watering can. Get off my farm, you horrible stone. I don't like stones on my farm. But there doesn't seem to be like, for example, an animal product thing for the farm, does there? Like, for, sorry, for the museum, does there? No. I want to go and have a look at Caldaris today and see if there's anything I want to like take in terms of levels <laughs> all right let's have a look so you finished clearing away the marks left behind by the earthquake well done i'm glad to see things in order right let's have a look so farming we're at level 10 prepared picker forageables will sometimes drop seeds I'm not that bothered about that a day well spent i'm not that bothered about that green thumb Okay, so planting a seed sometimes waters it. Watering a crop will sometimes refund. That's a good one. I've taken all the archaeology ones. I've taken all the fishing ones. Uh, there's some ranching ones that we'll be able to take soon. Woodcrafting, we haven't taken anything. And blacksmithing, we haven't taken anything. So copper expert... Time sensitive, craft time will be reduced. Sharp blacksmithing. Oh yeah, sharp infusion and fortified infusion. I want the infusions, I want to save up for those. That's what I want next, I think. Okay, so we've watered all our crops. They are growing nicely. The trees are growing nicely. 
Let's see what our... I do want to keep catching grasshoppers and things because I, I need to know if it's a new one. I'm glad that the first one I caught was a straw hopper, otherwise I might have assumed that everything was a grasshopper, which wouldn't have been too good. And then I want to get across into the eastern part of town. I want to run around, catch insects, that sort of thing. Uh, Serline wants five coral. I think I might be able to find that in the tide cabins, you know that. That might be a, a, a mining thing, actually. You alright, dude? I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the Narrows moss at the museum. You may not know it, but I'm a bit of a moss ex expert, and that moss is very rare and unique. The fact that I can go see it at the museum? Well, I'm liking it a lot. <laughs> That's such a good pun. I should be catching fish as well. I should be doing, like, everything right now frustrating really come on catch my bobber you know you want to you know you like it what's that then a pike was a pike something in the museum? No. no sad sad okay Oh, I was too late. Oh, that's rare for me. I'm normally quite good at catching them at the right time. A goby. Oh, man, I'm having terrible luck with this, aren't I? Come here, you. Nope. <laughs> Uh, we'll pretend that little fishing expedition didn't happen, won't we? Yeah. Okay, well, let's go down here and see what kind of forageables are out at this time of year. We'll see all the daisies and things we've had. We're looking for, like, a kind of red uh, flower. Hydrangeas make a nice gift, apparently. I think any of the flowers probably do. So we found some basil. is new lots and lots and lots of these daisy flowers that tree has pears on it I have one of those flowers i'm trying not to pick up too much or i'll run out of inventory space uh, there's another bee so let's have as many bees as we can i wonder if i can like break this rock yes and I've got a sapphire. Because if I can, I can go through here, look. What's this? A mysterious looking well throwing some coins. Sure. Wild berry jam. Well, that sells for more than the coins I threw in, so that's alright. Might be like pure hay to get um right so so far i've not really found much in the way of forageables and things that are like new which i'm a bit disappointed about just gonna make sure i've looked everywhere there was quite good because that was two different things in the spring but it's only one thing in the summer sadly but different things might grow at different times as well so to just look around on several different days. There's some wild berries up there. That's a stump. That's going to have hardwood in it, so it might be useful to... be able to get that out of the way as well actually there's another one of those clear water fills the fountain drink sums which I will sadly no new forageables up here okay What 
What else are we doing today, by the way? <laughs> getting coral, getting salmon, getting catfish. Getting a... And we'd get breaded catfish. Nice. Mine is pickaxe, monster shell, moral mushroom. Okay, so nothing really that I can do. Particularly. That's fine. Maybe if I go into the mines a bit later in the day, if I do get knocked out, then I don't have to worry about it so much because it's less time wasted. Much I've got no inventory space whatsoever left, so let's uh, go and sort that out. I want to just generally have a look around because going different places gets me different stuff um all right then i think i might have to chuck something out probably that grasshopper okay so we've got time and basil okay let's go to the museum because there's a couple of things we need to, to put in there actually and then i will head up to it's nice that they're complimenting me on things that I put into the museum as well. Oh so yeah, Basil and Time. So there are three other things that I have not yet managed to find. And they are probably going to be the rarer ones. they will be the ones that I'll be just running somewhere and I'll just see one and I'll be like, oh yeah, cool. Let's go back to my house for now. And I'm going to want to do some river fishing. I'm going to want to do some ocean fishing. I'm going to want to do some all other fishing because the likelihood is I'll be able to find a couple of things at least. The less rare things. But the main thing I want is to get into the mines and get iron. So now I've cleared this, I want it to stay that way. <laughs> Things seem to like to grow, don't they? Uh, I will keep that basil. I will keep that jam. I will keep the sapphires. I'll keep the berries. I think eventually I'm going to be able to do berry jam. Pears, actually, I can just eat them straight up for a bit of nice juice. Uh, I'll sell the daisy. I'll keep the bees. I'll sell the fish. I'll keep the hydrangeas for gifts. That'll do. And bees go inside. I am certain I'm going to get hives at some point. And if I don't, then I'm going to have like all these bees to sell. It's going to be wonderful. I really should be cooking with some of the stuff I've kept as well. But uh, one thing at a time, right? Okay, so now I'm going to head to the mines and we're just going to go in there. I'm going to ignore that bee, actually. I'm seeing, I'm finding way too many of them right now. Maybe I'll regret that later. Maybe I won't. Grasshopper again. Alright. We'll probably start finding loads of insects and things in the tide caverns too. That's praying mantis. I can see that already. It Might it be a different kind of praying mantis this time of year? No. <laughs> There's peaches there. So there are peach and... Yes, there are fruit trees around the place. And the fruit doesn't seem to be anything that I need to hand in, to be honest. I think it's all just the... Uh, looking at it quickly. I think it is just all the grown crops this time. So it's the chilli, the corn, the cucumber, the tomato and the melon. Yeah. And then in fall, it looks to be cranberries, pumpkin, yam, broccoli and something else. So that might be a fruit tree thing and then winter crop winter flower winter forage so yeah there's going to be such stuff to grow in the winter which will be kind of cool 
There's things we haven't found in the upper mines as well. So I do, I'm do. i going to need to go through the upper mines a few times more again just until I find those things. If I want to. Again, that's an if I want to thing, not an I have to thing. Right, so let's see how much iron I can get without getting knocked out. <laughs> I'm a bit sad I got knocked out, to be honest. But yeah, Salim was saying that, like... I could get coral or something. It doesn't seem to be with E. Okay. I can smash it. Maybe sometimes when I smash it, we'll get something back. Don't know. But at the moment, I just want to get as much iron as I possibly can. Ah, that is now a mushroom guy. That might not be quite as bad as the stone guys. Or it might be terrible. They, they might be fun guys. Oh gosh, they've got like a AoE attack. As well. Wonderful. Up you come. one down oh no it's not one down it's not even one down that's one down cave mushroom tasty tasty i've got to let them do their aoe attack and then then they fall over so there's like a thing there is a, a tactic ow oh, that's not fair i'm trying to deal with this guy and i've got to like okay so now we i'm gonna try and work out how to deal with this guy he is not a fun guy he is an annoying guy timing um so with them it's a case of let them let them do their thing sadly it's telling me to go home i just finally managed to get through there and it's telling me to go home but we did manage to get a little bit more iron, so I'm just going to dig for as much more iron as I can. And then we're going to head out. I don't know if we'll get home in time. Oh, that's annoying. I'm wanting to get iron, like, every day, and then every day I'm like, I don't have time to do it. I'm doing too many other things. But yeah, all of these bigger rocks around the place. I can... Oh, hello. Well, that's one of my first insects for the summer then. I am going to pass out though. I'm, there's no way I'm making it home in time. I tried. <laughs> but I'm glad I got a firefly, a firefly on the way at least. So I actually think that that... My friends, is where we're going to end it there. So we've just got up to level 22. I've got like what looks like a cute new outfit, actually. So if I can get that in purple, that might be quite nice. And we're on the third day of summer. We've already gotten uh, our first insect. We've gotten four of the five flowers that we need. We've gotten two of the forage sets. We haven't got any fish yet, so we need to work on that. Uh, and then we'll need like four more insects. So I think we're already doing pretty okay. Uh, we're working hard on getting our first star of so like first heart of social with everybody. It looks like I can get four hearts with everybody except for my probably beloved. Um, 
So I'll probably just work on most people by just talking to them, maybe giving them the odd gift, maybe on their birthday or something like that. But I'm not going to try like massively hard with them and then I'll pick someone who I think will be a good um, like dating potential and then maybe give them a bit more. But I overslept, I know, it's, it's, it's hard life isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway i think that's going to be the end for today i hope you enjoyed if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome